I came across this video on, on the internet somewhere. <laughs> so I clicked the link and here I am. I'm regretting it. What is going on? Why can't we leave kids out of this madness going on? This rainbow madness. Why can't we just leave the children? Why can't we let children be children? Fine if you have a child that's one sex but then exhibiting characteristics of another sex, of the opposite sex. Wait, let the child grow older and decide what he or she wants to do. If he wants to go that way, go that way. You're a grown-up now. You can make that decision for yourself. But nowadays, we have parents pushing kids to live their truth. What's your truth at eight years old, for Christ's sakes? What is going on, man? Society is crumbling right in front of our eyes. And I take this so personally because I have a little daughter as well. You would never, ever see me doing stuff like this put my kid on camera to do shit like this this is total this is totally wrong on all levels that's a little boy on screen right now that's a little boy and you might ask yourself why are the parents doing this a lot of parents now are attention seekers like they crave attention i think people born from like the late 80s 90s or whatever like think they Maybe they, somehow along the line, the parents neglected them, giving them a, a, enough attention. So they grew up now craving attention. The millennials and co, they just die for attention. So you have kids now. Especially if they have little, good, well-behaved, nice-mannered kids. And they feel like, oh, well, people like this kid so much. So I'm going to use this kid as an attention-seeking tool to shine the limelight on everyone. On, on everyone, especially me as the parent. Like, just take a look at what Dwayne Wade is doing with his son. Every kid like this, that's in front of a camera, on a rainbow stuff like this, going all trans and all that, just know there's an attention-seeking parent behind them. And just for statistics, 85 to 90% of these trans people end up killing themselves. Just for context. The heart can't take it and she might not make it They say don't dare, don't you even go there Cutting off your long hair, you do as you're told Tell you wake up, go put on your makeup This is just a fake Look at the parent, look at that Oh my god oh, This child doesn't stand a chance You're gonna outgrow No, your mom don't get That's a little boy Let's read the comments because a lot of these people in these comments encourage this nonsense. And they talk about, oh, the TikTok in America is different from TikTok in China. Because TikTok in China, they promote uh, education and positive achievements that the youth achieve. And, you know, encouraging things that help their society grow. And they say in the algorithm, because TikTok is a China-based uh, application, that the algorithm china is pushing over to the western world is promoting all this stuff so all this ideology all this trans stuff is because this is what china wants to put nah <laughs> no no the app is there the social media platform is there as a country you decide where you want to take it don't blame it on china don't blame it on china china is busy surpassing every other country in the west in, in the world by miles while we're here worrying about what uh, if gender is fluid or not all of that crazy nonsense. This is crazy territory. Look at this one saying you should be proud of yourself. Didn't I just say they encourage this nonsense? You should be proud of yourself, Eddie. You're growing up into such an amazing young girl. I can't believe you're nearly nine. First of all, what's an eight year old boy doing on TV like this being overly sexualized? What is going on? Exactly. What happened to kids? what happened i'm asking myself this every day like you have to be crazy or bold to have a child in the western world right now i think i'm bloody crazy what is this yeah what is this what's the fire emoji over there Mm-hmm. 
Exactly. This one says, hear me out though. What if they get to a teenager and realize this isn't what they want anymore? Exactly. Exactly. But right now, the father or the mother don't care because they're getting attention. Oh my God. Look at this one. My seven-year-old kid is non-binary. We get a lot of comments too. Keep your head up. You're doing great. I'm sure that's a parent. That's another attention-seeking parent. Your child is seven years old. What do they know about being non-binary? What do they know? You're putting this in their heads. It's not a coincidence that you've got more non-binary and trans and LGBT this and all that this people in California than the rest part than let's say Texas or something. Because you're making them that way. She won't regret it. Look at her. She's trans. Just accept, just accept her. Fine. She won't. How do you know she won't regret it? How do you know? You see the future, Professor X. This is... I told you, you have more people encouraging this. Oh, at least this one said it's a sickness. Good, my man. Oh, shame. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> We're being divided in all fronts. In all fronts. Man, I just want to save enough money, make enough money, and just, just leave, man. Go on. Going to buy a property somewhere off, off the coast or somewhere in Barbados or somewhere, somewhere in Africa and just get rid of this mess. Because if you can see what's going on right now, the West is going down and it's going down fast. When it eventually crumbles, it's not going to be a joke. It's not going to be a joke. You're going to have mayhem in the streets, man. It's not going to be. When Rome fell, it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny at all. When the West eventually falls, because we're at the tail end right now you can see the signs everywhere it's going to happen if you don't prepare now <laughs> oh boy mm -mm -mm. that's enough of this nonsense man peace